Hey, what is up everybody? Sharpster24 here, and this is episode 3 of Pokemon Light Platinum playthrough. So, last episode, it turns out that Hypercam didn't pick up my um, USB, my USB to headset. So, what actually happened was, like, it did not record my voice at all. So, this video is going to go up after that one, but I'm recording it the same day, if that makes sense. So in that one, I'm just going to put like some music or something just to pass the time. But, I mean, you can still see everything that happens, so you can't say, Oh, I cheated and got all these Pokemon or anything, because I didn't. So, um, really quickly, I'm actually going to head back to Central City and heal up my Pokemon. So we'll be back in two seconds. So I'm back, I just healed up, and we'll continue on this way. Water Pokemon always appear when the water is calm. That's really, really great tip to know. Thanks, dude. So next trainer here, youngster Jonas, spelled very weirdly, has Poochiana, 15, not going to be a big problem for Hydro here. He's going to get to level 17 on that one and a Blitzel, so into Koalava we go. And Ember, okay, got the burn, that's pretty useful I guess. Um, let's use Ember again. And that one goes down, and looks like I'm gonna have to keep Quilava up here. With most electric Pokemon, I'm probably just gonna be sending in Quilava until I find a um, ground type Pokemon or a rock type Pokemon that I like. A Wurmple, like it can take that out. One second. Um. Yeah, I had to clear my throat, so I had to pause the recording, and I wasn't sure if it, uh, and my microphone was still on, so I was checking that. So down goes Youngster Jonas, and moving on, we got more berry trees, nothing, Kelpsy, and Magost, Magist, are you a trainer? New. No. New, no. yes. Last lace. That's an interesting name combination. Water gun to you. She actually has decently high leveled Pokemon. So you're down. And a Shinx back into Quilava. If there's so many electric Pokemon like this, it looks like Quilava is going to be the. Uh, Strongest Pokemon in the in the party here. Hopefully, I can take you out. Yes, that's nice. I didn't see what it was. Crap. To leave you in another Shinx. It would really be nice if you did not take out Kalava, because then I'm gonna be screwed, and I don't want to go heal up again. I'm actually just gonna use a full restore. Why not? I had to clear my throat again. Have um, not really cold, just a little sore throat, and it bothers me when I'm, my throat's not being cleared. Uh, P Dove, this is a Generation Five Pokemon, and I've never used it because I thought it was really stupid and ugly. So, uh, Starlies I usually always use, but I kind of don't want to use a Starly in this playthrough. I want to see if there's something else interesting that I can get, or just anything better that might be cooler for me to use. So up this way another wild pokemon looks like everyone can actually use a healing up super potion you super potion you and i'll leave a like katie seems to be okay odds nothing another bug catcher i'm gonna go to the right so i don't have to battle him made the right choice there so a combi bzz, bzz, bzz. And that's another route. I'm not sure if that's the right way to go. But I think it is. Um, yeah, this is correct. DJ, look, the combi have invaded Inhor City and practically shut it down. See for yourself. Another cool thing about this hack is that sometimes the scripts glide to the right and move up like it is right now. I thought that was very cool. Okay, this is getting annoying. They... Look, they're being vicious and attacking people for no reason. The villagers are hiding in their ho- Villagers? Didn't know they lived in the villages. 
judging that the name is Inhor City. I think that the hive these Kongbi are from is in Inhor Woods. I'll go there right now and reopen the gym this, when this matter is resolved. I'm gonna go heal up. Oh. What the heck? That was weird. Forgot to pause the recording because I said I would be pausing the recording as I went to heal up. So, pause recording. And back. So, I used my uh, iPod Touch to keep time of how long the videos are. I want to keep them kind of like at 15 minutes. So, I'm at 7.30 right now. So, that's pretty good, I guess. have a little, probably enough time to finish the rest of this uh, wood. And it looks like I have to go to the down and to the right. So, originally, I was correct in saying that you have to go to the right. That tailor looks really cool. Uh, I won't catch it, though. So I'm gonna have to go down to the right and it's a very loud truck driving by. Uh, I really don't want to go that way. Can I go this way? No. Well, Team Steam is ready. So I think the Team Steam uniforms are the same as the Galactic uniforms, just different colored. I did notice that. And w what I realized I'm doing is since today I have a lot of free time, I'm going to be recording a bunch of episodes. I'm thinking about probably recording up to episode 7, so that way I can just pump these videos out every day. So like, if I don't have the time to make the video, I can at least just go YouTube, upload, boom, done. So I figured that would be a good idea. And a lot of people that um, are YouTubers, they just kind of sit down and do bulk recordings so that they just keep uploading them and they don't have to ever take a break so that's pretty good uh... I'm gonna keep hydro in cause hydro is actually I'm surprised that Quilava is still like the highest level pokemon in my party but it is because I used him for all the electric type pokemon that I ran into which was actually a lot and here's another one, so back into Quilava. Quilava will definitely be my first Pokemon to fully evolve, because he just levels up like a beast. Uh, Talo, so back into Electkid. And these three Pokemon are actually turning out to be a really good combination. And something else I was thinking about, that um, since I don't have a... Um, a flying type Pokemon that I might just go catch that Taylor that I saw earlier. And I was also thinking that if in the beginning of the game, if you pick Charmander, which is a better fire type than Quilava, and then you could just pick Totodile when you get it from Professor Oak, and that's a pretty good water type. So I was just thinking about that earlier. Because someone on the last video like commented, oh, why did you pick Squirtle instead of Charmander? Even though in the beginning of the video, I clearly said... Uh, I already did the game with Charmander, and with Charmander in this game, you he kind of levels up too fast, and I think the game would be a little too easy, and then he also doesn't learn a ton of moves, which is kind of a downer, and I just, I, re I really do like Charizard, but it gets, in, it gets tiring after a while if you just use the same Pokemon over and over, so I said, you know, I'll switch up, I kind of don't want to use him again, and I keep not paying attention when they're saying what Pokemon they're switching into and Confusion. I absolutely hate Confusion in Pokemon games. It's so annoying. It's like the worst thing ever. Alright, a P-Dove. Back into a Lekid. Thunder Punch you. And that's Team Steam Grunt number I don't really know. And that is the next battle area and it looks like I don't have to go heal up because I do not have enough items to just heal up like this so we'll be back in a flash and I'm back guys and as I was walking over here the cutscene started so it kind of just dragged me in here but no big deal and this is Sheila one of the uh, leaders of Team Steam and right here her Drift Blim and um, Jessica's Vespa Queen have a little battle thing and apparently one Shadow Ball would take out a Vespa Queen. So, pretty much, it's my turn, and here we go. So she actually looks pretty cool. I like the way her character looks. And she starts off with a Drift 
loon. So a let kid, and I can't even switch out because of the shadow tag. So hopefully I can take out this drift loon without taking a lot of damage because I might need hydro for uh, later on in the battle. But it seems like this drift loon is pretty beefy. And a dust skull, so um, I guess Quilava. Don't really have the best Pokemon though. Battle Ghost and Dark types. Oh, come on. I, oh, that sucks. I can't even. Crap. Hopefully it'll be. Okay, um, Thunder Punch. So, Poochiana, that is nothing. Why did I just do that? Crap. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Ooh, identification. Such a big deal. And Drift Limb. So, Ember U. Constrict does absolutely nothing. Burned, that's good. And if it gets low enough, I'll switch into, um, whatchamacallit. Oh, I guess not. I'll just take it out. And that was actually super simple, and I forgot not to speed up the video for this battle, but I did it anyway. No big deal. It's actually really hard not to do that once you get used to jamming down the um, speed up button. So that was that battle, and it wasn't that difficult. And I am going to call this an episode, guys. So thank you for watching, and rate, comment, subscribe. So thanks. Bye.